Well, boys and girls, hell has officially frozen over. Because for today, and today only, I find myself in agreement with one Mr. Alan Roberts, a.k.a. Every Damn Day Fitness. Hey kids, Straight Talk and Fedora Trick coming at you, and welcome to the channel. If you are new here, we are a social commentary and story time channel, focusing mainly but not exclusively to mental health. We talk about social issues of the day, basically. If you're new to this kind of thing, please consider subscribing and hit that little ringy dingy icon below so you can be notified every time I upload or go live. Yes, as mentioned, for today only, I find myself aligned with Every Damn Day Fitness. For those who don't know who he is, he runs a fitness channel that I find myself at odds with on a regular basis. But in a video he uploaded yesterday, he deviated somewhat from his usual fitness and weight loss topics. And today's video, this video, is not a reaction or a response to that video of Every Dawn Day Fitness, nor will, be, will I be talking about him further. I'm just merely giving him a tip of the hat, so to speak. It was his video from yesterday that brought this to my attention. I am going to talk briefly about one Mr. Stephen Williams, a.k.a. Boogie2988, a longtime gaming 40-something YouTuber. I used to subscribe to his channel as his Francis sketches were one of my guilty pleasures, and I usually admire someone or anyone who opens themselves up to talk about their own struggles with mental illness or having been abused as a child which usually helps raise awareness and it's uh, and uh, both of those topics are still quite the societal taboo even to this day I also have my own lifelong struggle with my own weight so I followed his journey with his own weight loss surgery I also have similar mental health issues to him so kindred spirits right well not anymore if I did think that way no not no more I did have to unsubscribe to him as I found more things that were just too dark about him, even too dark for my own dark sensibilities. For one, he may well be a misogynist. I'm not going to come right out and say he is one because, well, you know. But, I, I mean, I found the whole shit show with a sugar daddy, sugar baby website he got involved when the whole Lucy Fox incident well, disturbing, to put it mildly. That's kind of a red flag about to me about how he may view women. But I'm not going to talk about that really today, either. I am also quite troubled by his veiled threats of suicide, which he tends to do with more and more frequency as of late on Twitter, YouTube, and other social media, perhaps even Twitch. He has about... 4.5 million subs give or take on YouTube but he late as of late he appears to be hemorrhaging subs and views more and more as time goes on and he may well be losing his brand sponsors and I am really feeling that he is making these veiled threats of suicide self-harm publicly in an effort to try to hang on to the sinking ship that is his YouTube channel as of late and this I find not only irreprehensible, but I find it dangerous, particularly since he does have a young and impressionable audience who follow him. It's one thing to talk about your own experiences with suicidal ideations or attempts in an effort to tell a story or to bring awareness. Many YouTubers have done and continue to do just that, uh, including yours truly. It's pretty much what this channel is about. However, from where I sit, Stephen, a.k.a. Boogie, is not doing that. He does not strike me as even trying to raise any awareness right now. Now, if that is really his intent, he's doing a piss-poor job of it. Then today, again, courtesy of Every Damn Day Fitness, here is a screenshot of what appears to be a tweet from Boogie himself. Now, with close to 700,000
thousand followers on Twitter, many of whom would no doubt again be a vulnerable and impressionable population. This is irresponsible, to put it mildly. He may claim to not be advocating or endorsing self-harm, but this tweet apparently seems to be doing just that. Does he even think that this tweet could potentially have one of his vulnerable at-risk followers thinking that self-harm is the answer to their troubles? Now, I'm sure this screenshot of his tweet has med made the rounds now in social media land. And yes, I am sure he will walk this back to as he always does every time he says something boneheaded or controversial. And will blame it on a bad day or worse, a dark sense of humor. That don't cut it for me. I have a dark, quirky sense of humor myself. My humor has been known to offend in some circles even, but at least I do not cause harm. And if I do, inadvertently, at least I take ownership of it. He can have a dark sense of humor, but posts like these and worded in this way should really be off limits. Again, Boogie, if you want to raise awareness to your followers, there are far better ways to go about that. I honestly shudder to think how many will take this tweet of yours at face value. I usually don't advocate the mob mentality of joining the rallying cry to get people off social media because I think it does a disservice more than anything else. But today I will make an exception. Boogie2988, please take a break from social media, including Twitter, YouTube, Twitch. Seriously, regroup, reset. Figure out the direction you want to go because right now, you, you, you seem to be uh, going in free fall, as is your career that you like to so talk so much about. You yourself said that you have some savings and could live off that for a while. Something the majority of people who live paycheck to paycheck don't have, by the by. I honestly, ho I honestly hope you think about the potential harm you may be causing these days. And that is all I'm going to say on the matter. Is Boogie2988 a danger to his young, vulnerable, and impressionable followers? Does he hamper mental health awareness in social media? Drop a comment below. Let me know what you think. Please take care of yourselves and each other. And if there is somebody at risk or vulnerable in your midst, please take the time to look in on them, have coffee, share a meal with them, or just lend a sympathetic ear. It can really make all the difference to that person in the world. Catch you all in the next one. Straight talk and Fedora check over and out.